Howard Lindzen is the founder and general partner at Social Leverage. All opinions expressed by Howard and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Social Leverage or Stock Twits. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for decisions. Guests may maintain positions and securities discussed in this podcast. Hello, this is President Donald Trump, and you're listening to Linsanity with Howard Lindzen. I hate that guy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to an episode of Linsanity. I have Phil Perlman, one of my oldest friends uh, and enemies and acquaintances, and uh, Harry Guy in the studio today, and we're going to talk about everything from the new stock Twitch launch, where Phil just came back to work, to his days at Yahoo, to uh, market behavior and shrinkology. Welcome, Schmerlman. The Schmerlman Schmenzel. What's up, Schmenzel? So we go way back. So Dude, great to be here. Great to see you. I won't take my clothes off, though. He wanted to do a uh, topless, podcast. topless podcasting. Yeah. Top, Not having that. How about topless podcasting? Topless, right? That sounds fantastic. I'm ready so for that. So probably nothing will get it. Less than my conversation with Jason Rasnick will get done on this conference. But I have a framework for what we need to talk about so cool. we don't get off subject. What do you to do? I think, are you Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> Schmerlman. All right. So, so Phil and I go way back. I've wanted to, we've done. Uh, we've been around. We've while. been around. I think I was. Uh, we've shared a couple investor. gummies. We've What's shared it? a couple gummies. We've shared doesn't. a couple gummies together. Yeah. I, I, I may have been one of the first investors in social leverage. I remember you calling me and being like, I'm calling it social leverage. And I was like, Did that, you like the name? I love that name. Isn't I'm in. It's a great name. Yeah. And we've done. That was that was walks like walks ago. We've had, made, we've that shared was, beds awesome. together. We've spooned. Yeah, we've spooned. That's we, very, uh, that's so Phil not was, my best I think, number one hire at StockTwits, maybe yeah. by me. Yeah. You came in to build StockTwits community. You yeah. are a shrink. What is a define your shrinkage? I'm a psychologist. So you're, you can't issue drugs. No, no drugs. Have you ever interested in issuing drugs? Yes. Do you believe? <laughs> would that have been more written, school? Would, would that written, have been more school? I would have written prescriptions for myself. <laughs> would, would that have been more school? Is that why you didn't do it? Uh, I was not interested in that. Okay, I was but your wife didn't issue drugs. No, she's, she's a PhD. She's, she's a child a psychologist. She's yeah. a child. She gets stuff with not your wife. She legend. is amazing. Yeah. much better half. Does I she mean, know that we're actually last chatting? Time I don't think she wants me to ever see you or talk to you again, (laughs) to be honest with you. So uh, you came into StockTube. We met on Fred Wilson's blog, maybe? We met Fred Wilson's blog going back in the day. Oh, five. This is, this is, this is, yeah. The, you had uh, eight fat swine. Eight fat swine. What is eight? Brought that back. Yeah, you brought that back to your blog. But what is eight fat swine? Eight fat swine was my blog back in the day. And I was writing about uh, investor behavior, behavior, you know, behavior economics, um, user experience, but the the uh, the etymology of the name comes from the tulip mania in the 17th century in Europe. The original bubble. Uh, the ori- one, of the, one of the one of the bubbles are infinite. They yeah. go back to the beginning of time. There was yeah. probably a you know I don't know wheat bubble yeah. you know like 10,000 years ago or whatever. Uh, but um, uh, that was a price someone once paid for one Semper Augustus. Tulip bulb uh-huh. back in the day. And, so and you can, eight, I mean, the, va- the, the relative mm-hmm. value of that is insane. Eight fat swine for one tulip bulb now eight costs 10 cents. It's eight swines? Or no, eight pigs. Eight, eight, pig. eight fat pigs. You yeah. know, that's like, that's a lot that's of a good lot eating. Of bacon. Yeah, it's a lot of bacon. And so some idiot paid eight fat swine for that. Somebody you who read about really it. wanted a tulip bulb very <laughs> badly. I'm not going to say they're an idiot. I'm not going to say they overpaid. <laughs> But they re- their you know their subjective priority, and because pigs were expensive back then, pigs were expensive. And uh, so you got that name. Uh, we kind of hit it off right away. Why did the market? Why as a as a shrink? Yeah. Why do they? Why do you love the? You love the market, but love- you you're able to just walk away from it too. But why do you love the market? I love the market because it is uh, this uh, incredible. Incredibly volatile human experience, right? People experience emotions. As a matter of fact, so I brought it back, and one of my main purposes of bringing it back was to dive into some of the uh, 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 criticisms that I have of the current state of behavioral economics, behavioral finance. It's so big now. It's so popular. People talking about it. Because it is the only thing that kind of 
gives you an edge. Uh, there's an edge there, but I think that the I think that the field is a young science. It's only like yeah. a forty year old. I think it has a lot of really serious Absolutely. problems. And so, what were, what were we just talking about? Hang we were on. just talking about the markets. Oh, you love so the markets. so there's all of this, this is emotion. How this is gonna go. You're going to count on me to remember. Oh, where we're <laughs> oh my God, are you <laughs> kidding me? Terrible. It's ridiculous. I'm going to call you up at three in the morning. I would be like, what are we what, talking, what about? talking about? So all of this emotion, and emotion is the one thing that is just a mystery still. Like yeah. there's, I mean, th- you know, you can define it. There's models. There's all kinds of different theories around emotional models and how it affects behavior and how it affects thinking and experience and whatever. But it's the toughest thing to yeah. crack. You can't yeah. just say, I, like, if you be, if you buy or sell, I know your your behavior in the market. Yeah, easy. Yeah. If I ask you what you think, you could tell me. If I ask you what you're feeling, all of a sudden it gets very mushy mm-hmm. and soft. So mm-hmm. that um, that emotion and then the drama. It's a story. There's great stories. A tool at Mania. What a great... St- I mean, that comes from that book, McKay's book, uh, Popular Delusions, Madness Crowds. Great book? Great book. Okay. Written, like, I don't know, it must be close to 200 years ago. And you it, buy it on the Amazon? 1800s. Highly recommend. Okay. I mean, one of, the, one of the classics of anybody who's interested in, in any type of... Investing. Market. Investing, uh, uh, lunacy... Uh, behavior economics, market experience, you know, market behavior, it's gotta, gotta mm-hmm. read. So, so you love markets, you, you go to school, you were born in Baltimore? I was born in Baltimore, uh-huh. big crab guy. Were you in the big wire? Ravens guy. Were you ever in the, extra wire. in the wire? You know, so growing up, <laughs> my dad had a pharmacy on North Avenue. Of course you did. Tough area, and I used to go down there and I never thought twice about it, and uh, just, you know, I'd work there, would sell cigarettes. During the crack boom? Um, it was, it was, it was, uh, you know, I didn't really think about it. I don't know how bad it was down there. Uh It was not, it was not a, uh, it was, it was, it was an urban, uh, low socioeconomic status area. Right. But it was a poverty thing. It it was, it was, it was, I don't know about poverty, but there was all kinds of characters and, Uh um, uh, it was an interesting, but was really Bal- interesting. Baltimore ever a great place? It obviously, was at some point. Did you ever Baltimore's see it? Baltimore's a great at, place. I love Baltimore. Still, that's a great the crazy place. thing. I mean, I love the food there. The people. It's a very uh, modest, blue collary kind of feel. Mm-hmm. Um, people are great there. It's got serious problems, but a lot of city, you know, a lot of cities yeah. have serious problems. But it's yeah. got serious problems, <laughs> and um, uh, but it's a great town. Great sports history. And so, where'd you go to school? I uh, went to Maryland. So you, you so went Maryland, to it's good school. Uh, Maryland, and you studied shrinkology. Ba- back then, Mar- Maryland was a party school. Okay, like it got good after I left. Because you were a party. Like if I applied then, if I applied today, I'd never mm-hmm. get in with yeah. what I, you know, what I had going on. But then, <laughs> I, then I didn't. I was in state, uh-huh. uh, and I was a total party. Like yeah. I didn't start getting my my shit together until, you know, until I met Michelle. Okay, like, you and know. you met Michelle at college. I met Michelle in grad school. Okay, so you so go I to get grad out. school to do what? Just become I, a doctor? To become a psychologist, yeah. Uh-huh. But isn't a psychologist a doctor? Yeah, it's a doctor. Do you have but to it's take not an MD. You don't have no, to it's not a medicine. There's no entry It's like exam? a PhD. It's like a PhD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you loved it right away? Um, I did love it. Uh-huh. I did. And, and, I, and actually, it got me into uh, finance and behavioral economics. Uh-huh. So I, was, I, was, I had a Daytech account. Remember Daytech? Hmm. Like way back in the day? Mm-hmm. I had a Daytech account. And I was trading crazy stocks. But who got you into that? Uh, I think my brother. My okay. brother and my brother-in-law. Okay. My brother-in-law, Barry Weisberg. Okay. Cool. Just such a shout-out, Barry. You're Barry. the man. Yeah. Great guy. And my yeah. brother, they were like day trading at the early, <laughs> you know, they were like, well, well, Barry was a broker and Vic was a day trader. Uh-huh. And they were, they, were, they were crazy. Vic's not Jewish. Vic, <laughs> Victor Perlman. He, oh, his, his name is Victor That's Perlman. my brother. Oh, so He's Victor the greatest Perlman? guy in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you never cool met name. Vic before? I don't no. know. You maybe, maybe you never met him. That's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Vic P, VP, the VP. So they were like traders. So they got me. So I, I had my first job out of school. I was a, a teacher, a special ed teacher. Oh, lord! Oh my god! And I was I could barely keep my shit together. Then yeah. I was like I had two two lives, like split lives. Like one was like party, party my brains out, and then the other was like get to school and be a middle school teacher for kids, wow. special education kids. Oh, it was special like, ed. So split now. Looking back, you know, mm-hmm. both sides were just so dissociated from the other and uh and uh then i went then 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 i went back to so i was like okay i'll be a child psychologist you know mm-hmm. i mean these kids really need it i want to you want to serve that you know so i went back and uh went back to dc got into a program there mm-hmm. and uh 
uh, as I got deeper and deeper into it, was just around the time the, the Nasdaq bubble was going crazy, okay. and I was like, "Holy shit! Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is mania. Like yeah. I'm studying bipolar disorder, and you know, depressed manic depression is what mm -hmm. that is. And I'm like, oh my god, this is main. This is freaking mania. So I got really, really bearish early. I, had a, I, I made a good amount of money because you know. Then I tried to like short Amazon. Uh -huh. You know, Back I remember in the tried Yahoo message board days. Yahoo message boards. That was like the late '90s. Mm -hmm. Met. I met, you know, I met like Gregor McDonald there. Yeah. Crazy. So you were guys getting short on Amazon. Dude, I got short on Amazon like 84. It went to like 113. Oh, well, that's So I was not early. Bad. Not that bad. No, it wasn't that early. I mean, this was, I went on internship. That's when I, that's when I started. It was in September of 99. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got lucky. And then I went and there was this guy who was an expert at uh, Rorschach test, Inkblot test for bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. And that's when it hit me because I was studying with this guy and he was really cool, kind of, kind of freaky guy. Uh, but he was an expert with the ink blots and bipolar mania. Like mm -hmm. he was all knew all about it. And then I was like, you know, wow, man, this is a mania. This is what it's like. And then I got like end of the world, you know, I got like all end of the world bearish. I was about probably about six months early, five, six months early. And did you hang in there or you just lost money? I took, I took the stop at a hundred. Okay. So, so I went you, to 130. I didn't get hit that bad, but I got, and it, got, it actually worked, turned out pretty good because I got out of the market. Yeah. So I saved losing a lot of money, right. got nicked here and there, but didn't get crushed. So mm -hmm. it was actually fortunate. Okay. It's and, actually kind of got lucky. And what do you feel about timing today? You don't time. Now, I'm, uh, uh, you know how, how I feel now? It's like, if you're going to do that, you can do it, I think. I think, I think some people can do it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very hard. It's super demanding. It takes... You know what? It's like being a pro it's your ball life. player. Yeah, it's your it has life. to be your life. It's Everything like, you do is about the yeah. tech. Well, you know, I you're can't. an investor. You're a private. You, you, you yeah. know, you, you invest no, in private companies, small companies. You're. I mean, I'm you're not glued a, to a screen. I'm not. I'm, I'm not glued to my phone. Worrying. Yeah, but you're obsessed, and I know this for a fact because when we have dinner, the conversation always comes back to these small companies that you're talking about looking at. Yeah, but I don't. I don't have to like go to the board you don't have to be involved in their drama and all like whereas with pop when when i was running a hedge fund and you were running a hedge fund yourself it's like you never could get outside of it meaning i love talking about startups but i'm not worried about their prices and their money raises they're working or they're not working it's really not that much more complicated with the with the private companies it's a longer time horizon. Well, they're working or they're not working yes they have big problems or little problems it's much they always better. have problems the ticker is, is poison. poison yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, poison uh, poison very and, difficult. And that's why I say, like, the greatest gift is that in the Vanguard exists. It takes away the need to watch the ticker. Right. So if you have to be a, you know, if you're going to be a professional in that domain, if you want to be successful in that domain, you have to be consumed 24-7, yeah. 365 forever. It's not healthy. Yeah. It's not normal. Yeah, it's hard. It's not it's normal. Demanding. Plus, it's a, plus all that all the vicissitudes I was talking about Only machines before are about that. those emotions. You yeah. got that happening all the time. So it's all this attention and then all this emotion. And it's Fucking. wrong attention. So, so I think that's a good thing that the indexes exist in this era because Great. kids are already attached to their machines. I think I think it's fun to see people try and understand the markets, but at the same time, it's not a healthy lifestyle. You know, I remember sort of early on in the internet and then really early on in social, I always thought. That, you know, people are obsessed now, but as soon as we sort of attenuate to the internet, everything will, people will get used to it and it'll calm down. I was completely wrong about that. <laughs> it went completely the other way, and everybody's more zoned into screens than they ever were before. Uh, yeah, but I now believe to get out of this funk, we're either going to die, you know, driving off the road, and it can happen to any of us, even if we don't use our phones that much. But I'm like, turn it over, and I hardly, you know, I'm, I'm getting much better about what and when I engage with in my time. Like today, I've done four it. podcasts in a row. I'm like on my game and I haven't had to take Adderall, meaning like there's a job to do and I do it. And I'm trying, you know, it's a battle, it's a drug. The phone is a, is, is a drug. It's a drug, that's a but good But I that's feel a good like I've got it in a spot where I'm okay with. The do not disturb feature is a great feature. So, so what Primary does that mean? Feature. That's on, well I have the, uh, I have the Android and you just flip on do not disturb and it turns everything off on your phone. Okay, I don't so have I anything. Don't, I don't have alerts anyways, but I just turn my phone over. I just do that, you know, I do it in the evening, I do it at meals, I do mm -hmm. it, you know, and it just it's I do it uh, like when I'm exercising. Yeah, you're either going to be owned by the phone or or the or you own the phone. Yeah, it's either a tool or a drug. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's both, so unfortunately I'm trying to deal with it. Right. I think I I think I've gotten way better at it. So then you go and do a hedge fund. Right. 
Because yeah, so I'm all into the behavioral stuff. I meet this guy on the golf course, beautiful guy, in Brooklyn, by the way. He lives in Brooklyn, uh, beautiful guy, uh, MD at, uh, at, at, at Royal Bank of Canada, um, Diego Jaleo. And, Jewish. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and he's starting a hedge fund. And he's like, and we're talking about behavioral stuff. And he just like invited me in. Hmm. And uh, we started, we got, I was lucky again. Because it was like, oh, two, we started it right at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So I just got, we started with like five million bucks. And, uh, and uh, he, you know, we like, we came up with this behavioral model that was like based on like the stuff that I knew about. Uh, and it was like, earn, you know, it, it was, uh, it was earnings momentum model. Mm-hmm. That's all. I mean, that was basically what it was. But there was like this uh, behavioral academic uh, language around it mm-hmm. that made it sound really good to investors. Mm-hmm. So we went with that, you know. But it was actually good timing for it because we were having a recovery. So these small stocks that are undercovered that tend to outperform relative to their expectations, it's great for those stocks during a recovery. The recovery is a great time for small cap growth. Mm-hmm. They outperform. Business is better than expectations. It takes three, four, five quarters sometimes for the expectation to catch up with the performance. Mm-hmm. So it was like a perfect mo- model at the perfect time. And it, the only reason that we did it is because it sounded good. And it was really, I didn't know that much more. And then we meet and I convinced you to come to Stock Twits. Yeah, so you were there day one. Like, what was? What did we learn? What? What? Like, what's? What do, you, what do you think we did right and wrong? It was an amazing time. Uh-huh. Two thousand. Uh, you had. Uh, you were on your game then. Then, I mean, <laughs> you know, you still. You hadn't. You know, the uh, the senility hadn't started kicking in yet. So back then, you still had. You still had it up here, uh-huh. and um, uh, it was all happening. I mean, I remember. You know, uh, you invested in that. Uh, that and social leverage was great. I remember you invested in that. By the way, it's still good. Twitter search. Yeah, it's still. I mean, yeah. I made, even bigger and better now. Mm-hmm. You've done a phenomenal job. I mean, I hate. I hate to. Over. I hate to give you any kudos Don't. whatsoever, ever, because uh-huh. uh, I know immediately you're like, boo. <laughs> look at, look but, at my head. Yeah, yeah, it's no up. longer fitting. It didn't fit. Hate so, to do it. So tight. But you've done a hell of a job there, and I remember you. You, like, you know, you invested like this in that search. Social search tweet that deck. Twitter Twitter bought tweet deck and, and then tweet deck surmise that's where the name of it. You were just on it then, and the whole uh, the whole stock to twits thing was amazing. And I was like, okay, let's do it. You know, I'm like, I'm in. I was sick of, uh, I was kind of sick of the hedge fund thing. I was sick of the grind. It was mm-hmm. like every day I would walk into this office. We had this like hedge fund hotel office down on Wall Street, 48 uh-huh. Wall, beautiful building, old uh-huh. Bank of New York building. Kind of like we work, but for hedge funds. We work for hedge funds, and it was like four screens. Yeah, and you just it stupid st- life. St- it was stupid. And it was it was great. I mean, a great opportunity, no, it but, it great, but it was stupid. In hindsight, it's the dumbest. Thing. After four or five years, it was yeah. brutal. And um, and you and what you were doing, I saw what you were doing. I, I knew, I understood. Like mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, it's fucking great. The cash mm-hmm. tag, the whole thing. And I was like, okay, I'm in. And um, the thing I think that uh, was amazing to me right off the bat was not only there were two things. One was the community. Mm-hmm. One was like you can build a community. Mm-hmm. You can build like this massive group of people that has drama, has leaders, has followers, has conflict, has causes, has everything that a community has. It's virtual and it's vertical. So mm-hmm. it's centered around, mm-hmm. you know, and you see this with all social networks, but I, we were so close to it. We were yeah. seeing it firsthand and we were mm-hmm. trying to foster Harness it. Harness it or far, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. terrible business. Like in the end, someone should have pulled me aside and said, what are you wasting your time building a community? But, you know, I, I have no regrets. I'm just saying like, when you take yourself outside of it, it's like, it's the dumbest thing to try and build because it's so hard to keep communities together. Um, and monetizing communities is, is is hard unless you have massive scale. Well, I think we have a great opportunity right now. Oh, no. So me saying, coming back to StockTwits is yeah. like, so flash okay, forward, you're become you, a broker. You left for how many years? Left for about six years. StockTwits, you've been gone that long? Yeah. So you just came back. What are you working on at Here's StockTwits? what happened. So I go in and I see Justin and I see Ian mm-hmm. and they show me. Uh, they become, they, they become, become a broker dealer. I knew that. I'm an investor. Mm-hmm. And I knew that ST Invest was happening, mm-hmm. and they show me the product mm-hmm. uh, called Trade App. It's, we're gonna, planning to launch it very soon. Yeah. And uh, 
I looked at the product and I was like, this is really cool. Yeah. And there is a social component to it. Yeah. So it's a trading app uh -huh. with a social layer to it. Fucking cool. Yeah. So I was psyched about that. So I was like, this is really cool. So then they call me uh, like the next day and they were like, well, you know, we would love for you to come in and help us launch this, help us build community around it, you know, media, that whole thing. I was like, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah this sounds like a lot a of fun. marketing job at a, at a bank, so. Yes, yeah. great bank. Uh -huh. Can't really talk about anything uh, right. related to that, but great experience there, great people Public there. Public company. Public company, amazing, so you, you, you amazing learned, company. You learned a lot there. Learned a ton there about running, managing, running a big budget, uh, running a department at a major, learned a lot about banking. Yeah. You know, so learned a ton there. I have no, 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 uh, no regrets. Off, off topic, just so what do you think of non-bank banks? Are they businesses like Chime or are they just cool things? Uh, I think that space is a super fascinating space. Uh, I think some of them are real businesses. I think most of them are not. Yeah, because, I mean, you got to own the bank. you got to be a bank. Yeah. The sooner, uh, the, ba the sooner there are banks, and then there are some, there are couple banks out there that get, a couple real banks out there that get it uh -huh. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into that that much but then but I think most of the challenger ones have a real problem unless so they're a real bank. in the six years that you've disappeared or went off to do other things conquest what what is the difference about stock twits or the team or, or the vision well or? one thing that's blown me away about that is that it has continued to grow yeah so we used to get that email every day with the stats in it yeah and I remember yeah. like you would send me you know, like we, we would have like this crazy big day yeah. and then I'd get an email from you at like one in the morning forwarding the message, the email I had already gotten, uh -huh. but just like, did you see how many charts were posted today? And it yeah. was like a lot. So I started getting those emails again. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, it's like 10 times what it was then. Yeah. So, the, so the communities continued to grow massively. And then the other thing that's really interesting, it's so big now. The, I mean, and, 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 you know, it's never going to have the scale like Facebook has yeah, or Twitter, Twitter has yeah. because that is every that is horizontal and vertical. This is much more vertical. But what I've noticed also is that there are sub verticals. So there's people who are just interested in this. There's people who are just interested in this. Mm -hmm. There's people who are focused on this. There are people who have rooms in this. Mm -hmm. So it is. So it's become larger, a lot larger. It's become more complex. Mm -hmm. um, I think that presents bigger challenges on the community development side, but it also creates more opportunity on, excuse me, the revenue side and on the product side. Mm -hmm. and, and what, so Ian and Justin convinced you to come on. Yeah, so they were like, hey, you know, and so I was like, wow, I just, so I tweeted right when I walked out of the meeting, I was like, hey, really cool, you, you, you know, people are going to be blown away. This is a really cool product that they're yeah. developing here. Um, so they were like, you know, why don't you come do this? I was like, okay, you know, talk, talk with my wife, my much better so half. So now you're going the, in every day to, to the office, so that's different. You know, I think Fridays are not going to be a day I go in. All right. I went in last Friday. Getting home was a nightmare. Pick fucker. <laughs> so, um, and what do you, so you went for a while without tweeting. So yeah, I went off the map. Like, I had to get control of my shit. Like we were talking about the phone before. Yeah. I, had to get, I had to get control of myself yeah. because it is a drug. Yeah. And so I had to wean myself off of social. Haven't posted on Instagram in probably two, three years. Yeah. I don't know what your haven't kids posted look like on anymore. Facebook in years. You don't even know what my kids look like. Yeah, thank anymore. God. Because yeah, they, 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 they look a little bit like <laughs> a little you. Like me. Enough much me. more attractive than so, me. So now that you're I had back, to are you back posting and sharing again? A little more, but I'll never you, be the way that I was. We were junkies, you, dude. Remember, remember when the financial crisis was happening? Mm -hmm. and I, I'll never forget this. You know, the first, you know, like. The first person to post something. It could have been on a... I remember there were weekends where shit was happening. Like yeah. Lehman was going on there. Was on a, the first person to post something, whether it was me or you or Joe Wiesenthal or mm -hmm. whoever, got like the kudos. Yeah. Like, oh, they had it first. It could be yeah. like 30 seconds before somebody else posting yeah. it. That was just... That triggers... You're, you know, the same thing that drugs trigger in your brain yeah. that get you off. Well, Joe still gets off on that. I know that well, he's, I an he's, he's an, an expert. He's an expert and he's an he's influencer. He's a master. But, you know, the, there's that old expression that the, um, the child is father to the man, uh -huh. right? And that is a very psychological thing. It's mm -hmm. a very, like, human developmental thing. Experiences that you have when you're a child mm -hmm. affect your development and affect who and what you become in a lot of ways. Not completely, mm -hmm. not totally deterministic. We can change paths, but... It has a huge influence. So I think that the origin story of a, of a company, 
um, in a way, a company is like a, a living, breathing entity. Sure. You really know this because, yeah. you know, being an angel investor, you see that stage, yeah. that infant stage. Um, it has a lot of effect. So if mm -hmm. you read a book, so we were there, so mm -hmm. we saw a lot I of it I couldn't read the book because I didn't know if I trusted any of the stories. There but was you a, liked it. Uh, it jived with uh -huh. what we Thought. saw. I mean, we, we were talking about it all the time back then. We were having these conversations like, you know, but it, was it jived. It was a fun thing, you know? It was started out of like, I think the intentions were good. Genius. Yeah, they like did Jack it. Jack is no dummy. Like, he's a genius. They and did the it. intentions at the beginning were good. Well, I don't, th where I think his, where, I, where I, I don't blame or judge, where I think it's a shame is, like, he must have been such a different person back then. Like, I mean, have some courage and, like, you built this thing for a reason, and you're letting people just stampede all over it. Like you know, with the rules. I mean, you and I are so close to this because of rules and regs and house rules. You built our house rules, and they're, like, simple. And, like, what? go try and read Terms of Use of Twitter. Like, what's Do you fuck? ever read uh, Annie Duke's book, Thinking in Bats? Have you She's on it? Twitter, right? She's, She's smart. Great. Yeah. I mean, pff, yeah, I yeah. haven't read the book, but. Great book. Um, but, you know, she talks about, she's a poker player, a professional, mm -hmm. you know, a, a successful poker player, and uh, as well as being, like, a, a really brilliant decision theorist, you know, mm -hmm. which is really behavioral economics. Mm -hmm. and, um, and she talks about when you're playing poker, how many decisions you make. And in, in a small period of time. Like in an hour, you're making thousands of right. decisions, right? right. I mean, Which is why I hate poker. I don't want to do that in my spare time. It's very challenging, very mm -hmm. difficult, especially at that very high level. Absolutely. And the thing about it is, is you, each decision is based on some process or some thinking yeah. through. Much and like trading. you can make the exact same decision in the exact same situation twice and have completely different right. outcomes. It's so it's unknown, it's under uncertainty, yeah. right? It's decision making under yeah. conditions you of just, uncertainty. You're just like punishing yourself rapid if you're fire. Like poker. Starting a company, especially one that is juggernaut, mm -hmm. is the exactly the same thing. I so understand. I don't even blame Jack and Ed and all those guys. Him. They're not respecting the fact that it's, most of it is just magic and luck. they right place, right time, and then they're like form-fitting all their genius. They're making a thousand, they're, 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 they're uh, imperfect humans, uh, imperfect decision makers, fine. making a thousand fine. difficult decisions some, that are stressful under a difficult very... difficult decisions that have to be made over others. So where do you feel on the way they do terms of use and, and Trump, for example? The, a lot of we, things... Would Trump have survived on sock twits? I'm not even talking about that. Well, I'm, I'm saying, not even talking you, about politics with you. No, I I'm not talking about Zero desire behavior. to go there at no, all. No, I'm talking about behavior. If we had a person acting like Trump on our platform. Uh, uh, if, if he, it, uh, if somebody very, 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 very explosive and famous came on our platform. Uh -huh. you, would, uh, you would just cater to them? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Fair enough. They, they, would, they could increase the size of the platform by fivefold overnight. And all of a sudden you're like, okay. Now you have to look in the mirror and, uh, you know, make some really hard decisions. And mm -hmm. I'm sure those guys, I'm sure we it's not easy for them. so many people. Yes. Our, our, our concern is that we're kicking off the next Kramer. And I was like, whatever. I don't go fucking shit on somebody else. I'm sure else's. we made some mistakes. You know, of course I, we uh, did. Uh, uh, no, obviously we're not billionaires. So of course we made mistakes. <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> now it's only on your hands. So, so going for how do you think about community for Stockton? Well, you, it, now we're going to have because you have to get really, caught up. Yeah, we're going to have a, a really new layer interesting, because of the brokerage. Oh my God! Yeah. I mean, this to me is really exciting because yeah. it's it's emergent. Yeah, it's completely new. It's new. We have no idea. There's we're never been a ground. social. Uh, only people even there's never been a social trading platform before. Yeah, I'm proud that we just even tried to do this. If you had said, like, the fact that E-Trade and, and Ameritrade haven't gone after this market is a joke. I'm That's just... exactly the conversation that I had with, uh, with Justin and Ian that day. As a matter of fact, I was like, you guys are going for it. I yeah. love this. Yeah. You know, because it's I like, wouldn't have done it. I was like, Ian, congrats, because I don't even think we should apply. It to could go the wrong way. Yeah. It could be like nobody does it because yeah. you have, I mean, the, you, 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 you know, uh, Andy Weissman, his like signature is uh, 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 Real Names Be Proof, which is an old uh, yeah. uh, lyric and old punk rock song. And that's, I always love that, man. But, you know, now it's going to be Real Trades Be Proof, yeah. right? Because if you're, if, oh, what? Oh, you can't talk about it? I don't know. I don't know how much we would talk about it, but <laughs> it's a social layer to yeah. the cha-cha. Yeah. I can't really, I mean, it depends when this uh, 
when this program comes we'll out. We'll air it just can, before. I'll just, yeah, yeah, okay. So, okay. so go okay, ahead. Cool. So, um, so now it's going to be, there's going to be like a verifiability component to it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be like a social layer, but a real broker, not just what you're talking about. So, so we call it trade casting because we'll air this when it will We'll trade so. app. Trade yeah, app. Yeah, okay, they, so trade it. So get, explain okay, the, lo- the feature, how you see it. Well, it's really cool and nobody's yeah. ever done anything like it. We will not air this. No, we won't. Don't before worry. The 20th, don't worry. Don't worry. The, before we launch. Okay. Um, so Tradecast is basically like, you know, it's like Snapchat or TikTok for a brokerage mm-hmm. where you go in a trade, you enter a trade, mm-hmm. and you cast that trade like a mm-hmm. moment or a story from one of the social, yeah. you know, from one of the social platforms. Yeah. And it's live and it has your entry. It has how much you're in it. It has the price. Yeah. It has you don't uh, you have know, to do it, but you can. You don't have to do it. You can do it privately, so it's mm. just like a trade journal. Yeah. You can do it share just it in front of. You can just share it with 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 the people that you want to share it with, mm-hmm. or you can make it public and tweet it out on other or, or, or message it out on other parts. a live living event. It's also remember we were talking about what's great about the market is the stories. Yeah. Before in the early, you were asking me about uh, you know uh, the the bubbles and all that. Um, it you, you could tell the story. Mm-hmm. I'm in it. This is why it goes the other way. You know, your losses, too. I mean, mm-hmm. if you, you know, there's going to be, I mean, part of our bet is that there's going to be some people out there who have the willingness and the self assuredness to share not just their great stuff, but their, 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 their bad traits because mm-hmm. of process. You know, mm-hmm. if, it's, if they really have a process and they're really authentic, uh, they, they, that may be fewer and far between, but it may be more valuable. Um, those people are going to share that. It's a great story. I mean, mm-hmm. seeing people lose and then the next one and they come back and win mm-hmm. and seeing people who are really good at what they do, maybe seeing people who aren't that good that have a lot to learn. But, you know, if you have the story right there and it's real, mm-hmm. then you can go back and watch it and say, okay, here's where I went wrong. But what's so your pitch a lot to learning. someone who, why they should do it? Why they what? Should do it. Um, well, I think that there, I think that the only reason we're doing it is because I think it's actually a good idea. For people people to love to share their stories. That's a great lesson from all of social media since, you know, Facebook. I mean, what was, yeah. what's Facebook's like 15 years old already, yeah. you know, maybe 2004 or five, whatever, you know, and even before, what was the one, uh, what was that one before, uh, MySpace or whatever, yeah. Yeah, Friendster. uh, Friendster, mm-hmm. um, people love to share what they're doing about themselves, what they're into. If they're into cars, you go on their Instagram, they got a bunch of cars. Mm -hmm. People are into trading, they go into, and you know, I mean, maybe it's ego, maybe it's narcissism, whatever, but there's healthy narcissism. I mean, people just like to share. You know, Mm -hmm. sometimes they go overboard. No, but I I think that, so I think it could potentially tap into a basic thing. Why should people keep track? Well, that's, to me, The way I would want to use it, and mm-hmm. again, this comes with me being a little older and already sort of getting a handle on that sharing thing that we were mm-hmm. talking about before. I'm not as inclined to share right. everything anymore. Right. The way that I would use it is I would use it for the journal thing. Yeah. So there's this, what happens is, is you, you, you create the story, you begin creating the story, you have moments within the story, and then a screen pops up and it says, who do you want to share it with? Yeah. Private, just mm-hmm. for you. Followers, only the people who are following you have control over that. And then finally, public. Mm-hmm. I would pick that journal one, and then what I would do is I would go back. I would, I would, I would have moments during that trade where I came in and trade casted, mm-hmm. and be like, okay, now earnings is going to be reported this afternoon. Uh, the, the, there's a you know volatility is super high, so I'm going to sell calls on part of my position or whatever I'm doing. I would explain it, and then the beautiful thing would be you'd be able to go back in a way that has never been invented before. Go back and see what you did, mm-hmm. and post mortem your own trade. Yeah. Cool thing about making it public is you can do that and have people con- you know people say to you, hey. You know, you really Here's fucked up over wrong. here, or, or great trade. You know, yeah. I mean, some of it is golf clap too, and which yeah. is the really, really cool thing. Also, yeah. uh, that's a whole other component to it too. Yeah. But um, so that for me would be super valuable. Well, it's fun. You're fired up. I like it. I think uh, it's key, right? Because you came before the you worked at a big co, and before that was the, the the end of Yahoo. I would call it. I mean, Yahoo's still around, but you spent a little time after stock with at Yahoo. Uh, so Yahoo, I, I can talk fun. about. Oh, I can talk about Yahoo. You can or can't? I can, and I yeah. never talked about it before. Okay. So so my, my issue with Yahoo is I think you, listen, you were burnt Ugh. out on stock twits. You went to Yahoo. You had a great idea for them, a social idea. They brought you idea. on. Who hired you? Aaron Task. Oh, well, Aaron's great a good guy. guy. 
Okay, so Aaron hired you, and, yeah. and just quickly, what, what I went to hell? him after Tumblr got bought, mm-hmm. and I said, you know what you should do? And we did we did it, too. Yeah. And you know what? I never, I never talked about Yahoo before. It's, mm-hmm. I never, like I got, after I left, I got calls from the media, blah, blah, blah. You want to spill your guts? Yeah. Marissa Mayer was such a popular, it was such a popular topic. Yeah. Never, I, I said no, no, every single yeah, time. Yeah, it's not worth doing anything. Wasn't worth doing anything. Um, they were terrible, though. I mean, now I'll say it. Now, how many years later is it? Yeah. It's years later, and it's you talking. I'm talking yeah. to you. Oh, they yeah. were they were horrible. But horrible. I knew that was going to happen. But you, it was oh. a good offer, and you and you got win. a great you, offer. It was a fun experiment. Some... And I got everybody. I got yeah. everybody to build a blog. We made this. It was such a no brainer. Yeah. We made this template, uh, this Yahoo, uh, uh, this uh, Tumblr, Tumblr, Tumblr theme yeah. that was like the the Yahoo Finance Tumblr theme. Mm-hmm. Um, we got everybody on there, and then we built a pipe. The, they, that, that platform was in such shambles. Oh. Building that pipe yeah. was a fucking really? nightmare. All they had to do was ta- tag a post, put it on Dude, the ticker the stream, thing kick in the off world. all the people that were milking your traffic. It was like it, a no-brainer. You no were... Free content from mm. some of the best people. We had Carl Icahn on there. Mm. We had O'Shaughnessy on there. By the way, l- just the best guy in the world. Yeah. We had him on there. We had... Rit Ritholtz and that whole gang, Josh. Yeah. We had everybody on there, and we had we knew who was, you know, we knew coming. we knew who was up and coming. From start to it. And we were getting, we were just, and everybody wanted to be on. And all you had to do was tag with a cash tag, yeah. and then we pulled you right into Yahoo Finance. And news you could kick off all the other people that were just spamming it. The bigger we got, the whole Yahoo was 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 going down. Yeah. And the this more was our we idea were growing them at the beginning. Right? Oh, yeah. the more I was growing, the worse they were to me. Yeah. They and by the time we were like, really had momentum, they were treating me like, like just. But uh, what do you mean uh, they oh, treating fuck. you? They just didn't understand oh, it, or I, I don't even want to go into it. Okay. I'm just I'm getting mad. You know, <laughs> you just said you were going to go into it. Now you're not going. Well, to I it. just went into it a little bit. Yeah. So but you, they so they you, treated me. They didn't treat me well. well. She didn't. She, she wasn't involved. didn't. Uh, didn't it wasn't she her. She was involved. Her and uh, the the CMO, oh, Kathy something or other. What a nut job. Oh. Those two She's were miserable square, people. I think now. I they know. were, they were, imagine, they were horrible. Yeah, like sorry. You can see the decision. Sorry, if you're watching, you <laughs> but you, you can really see by the it. decisions they were making. They, they were, were they were very focused on themselves rather than the good of the company. Yeah, I mean anything you're doing when you're in a company but it ended up where it, where it should end up in the graveyard. Plus, yes. And it's, it's it ended so, up. It was right. What do you think so. of Yahoo Finance now? Like people make fun of it, but it's still got a lot of traffic. Like, I love some of the people there. Yeah, I know the people. I love Charlie Hartel. Do you ever go to the, you, I you, love Miles. I love uh, selling cakes. But do you ever cakes? use the product? No. Yeah. And uh, and then what do you? Sam use? love Sam. And so what do you use now? They have for good finance? people. They had good people back then. And what do you use now? For they had me, they had Aaron, me, Santoli, and uh, Jeff Mackey. And the Mac. Mac is hilarious. Yeah. Okay, you got you got a hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Uh, Linda, now where do you where do you think about the markets? I know it's like end of, it's, let's, we're going to air this end of September. I have no idea. Okay, we don't care. You don't care. Just buy you a little bit every month. You're you're indexing. A I'm dollar cost simple. Average. I just simplified my life. Simplified this. Mm-hmm. The process is every month put a little bit into. But now you're going to start private investing again. I imagine. I I'm going to play. Yep. I'm going to play on the app. No, I mean private investing with like social leverage and stuff. You're going to get yourself Absolutely. back involved. The, I never 100% stopped. I mean, even now I was at the uh, Wellstack conference. Mm-hmm. I was looked there any cool with companies? great. Um, I, didn't hear, I didn't see any of that. I thought, uh, I thought uh, Canvas was really cool. Oh, yeah. I yeah. know you're talking with uh, those but guys. But they're, they're not raising money. Yeah, that's just, no, yeah. but they're at a whole other level. Yeah. Um, and I thought that uh, Daniel Crosby... Uh, I think he's got work to do, but I think the he's doing something stuff. really interesting. Yeah, got it, got I mean, I may be a little biased there. Plus, he's a great guy and a friend. Mm-hmm. But I think if he can pull that off, it'd be really, really cool. If he could, fa- I mean, I'm really interested on prescriptive models to actually affect behavioral change, rational behavioral change in investors. So I'm kind of talking my own interest here. But it was fascinating to me because he's working on the same thing. So All right. we can be, uh, you know, uh, uh, simpatico doing that. All right. Well, good luck on the launch. Thank you. And uh, we'll have you back on. We'll do. We should set up the stock to its needs. Its own. We're going to do it. Room. We're, We're going to do it. There's a space there. The There's already a TV there. No, but you talk to these guys and just get it. We'll set, set it up. up. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. And uh, it doesn't have to be video even. Yeah. I think I think our audience, audio, are you bullish on podcasting? I like video. You like video. I like podcasting. I've I, seen I, from I like... my numbers that people don't want. I want them to watch because I'm taking the time. Like This isn't highly produced. This is highly produced. Right. But very easy Are you doing the them eyes. every week? I, I'm doing series on them. I did You 10. have to do no, You I have understand. to be religious. You have to go week. every week, same time. <clears throat> name yeah. of, you have a great name. You're not an attractive guy, but no. you're, but you're uh, you know, I mean, great on uh, radio, great on mm, podcasting. Face for radio. Face radio. But um, no, I'm only kidding. You're, you're doing great. Uh, <laughs> I prefer the insult. No, really. I prefer the From insults. the bottom of my heart. I never liked you. I prefer <laughs> you never, the insult. Yeah, you're hockey pot. <laughs> but um, but uh, I think it has to be really consistent. I think, the, I think you have to put in the work. Yeah. I think you have to research it every week. You have to have production. You have to, you can't. Just, you know, uh, uh, you can't just say, hey, we're going to do one well, over here, we're going to do one over no, there. No, I agree with it every week, yeah. but well, I don't think I need to. I think personality-based conversations are fine. I don't think I have to research. I don't have to go research you forever. Having smart people on and discussing things is interesting enough. I think that's a good angle right there. Yeah, I like, like that. you can over-prepare for these things. You have to have great people. Yeah. I mean, you just I mean, we, you just did a few in a row, and, the, you know, I just did Morgan, Patrick, uh, Raznick, and, you know, I'm the slouch in there. Yeah. Uh, but well, you I don't know, think you predict three. which ones are ever going to be. I had a great conversation with Jason, completely off topic. He's right. a smart guy. Everybody's different. Right. And we can't predict which, even Patrick, I was asking, which ones went viral. You can't predict which can't ones predict. are going to get passed yeah. around and which ones are going to resonate with I would with just people. keep plugging away at this. I would just keep doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. I mean, yeah. it's, a, you know, it's, it's much like, what easier do they say about overnight on success? The streets. Right. You know, I don't, yeah, for me, it's like if something takes off, great. I can't yeah. predict which one, will, which conversation will take off. But yeah. for me, it's. Are you learning when you do them? I am. I mean, it's, you know, I'll get better at it. I think the hard part is, should I prepare? How much should I prepare? Or does the audience that I already have, the ten or 20,000 people that tune in, does the audience I already have expect? They if don't you want have me somebody to on who wrote a book, you have to read the book. That's, you know, that's like yeah. table stakes. If they want to talk about the book. Uh, I think you have to know him. Like, who is that person? Like, know something about Yeah, like, him. Morgan I know because I read. Right. Patrick I know because I've listened to his podcast, but right. on his podcast. Jason I know because he's a schmendrick and he's funny and he can't he's keep him on the topic. Crew. He's yeah. part of the crew. Yeah. And if you had a book, why would I read it? Why would you read it? Yeah. No Come good on. reason. There'd be no good reason. Unless it was a book on uh, on uh, unibrows. Yeah. <laughs> so how how many times a day do you shave? I shave three, four times a day. <laughs> I, I, got, I have like All my right. early morning. Well, the lots of nachos shave. to you and Thank nachos. You. Uh, and uh, We're going to do this. Good luck at Scott. Well, you need to do it. Yeah. I'll show up when I'm yeah. in New York. I'd like to yeah. bang out. Because no, the guests don't. are in New York. Please the hard part is getting Just people to come away. to Phoenix. Just don't. Just <laughs> the hard part is getting people to come to Phoenix. This was a I don't nice trip. Do, it's 110 degrees outside. No, but I don't want to do con things where I'm talking to a Skype screen. See, I refuse to do that. Don't do it. I'm not. So that's what makes well, we're hard set doing one up it every the, week. We'll set something up in the stock to it saying, and then, at least when I'm in New York, and I then can we'll call do, ahead and do get Fred and get like major. We're going to do come this through New York. We're doing it, and we're going to do it, and it's going to be in New York. We there's space for it. Yeah, I know Patrick where the space is. Patrick said he would come in and do his interviews there. He wants to do video. Dude, we we have to do it, and yeah. we need to like set those things up. Yeah. So like the week before, but it can't be like that Twitch morning people, you get there. Stock Twitch people, you can let Patrick O'Shaughnessy. He doesn't have a studio in New York. It doesn't come and film stuff. All it has to do is be a, a high quality content of interest to a similar audience yeah. that's all it needs to be it doesn't yeah. need to be like okay stocked what's thing yeah. it needs to be can be much broader than that much that's broader. great and barstool's quality. done a great job of that barstool's done a great job barstool's done a great job great job I mean, yeah killed it you know everybody talked about buzzfeed but it's you know it's a pe it's the what do you call it the hare and the rat the rabbit and the turtle right and barstool's just been at it for 10 12 years 13 years and they've got a celebrity you know dave's crazy and now he's just anointing talent yeah and, and he did stay crazy, trying stuff which is helpful i just don't think i couldn't do what he did there was a moment when you know we did videos and i was i just gave up i can't be that person it's choice i give him life. credit it's no, a good yeah, it's a good him. point it's a good I point you're making. Do, I can't get dragged out of the Super Bowl. All right. I got to run. Anyways. I got a plane to catch. Talk to Dude, you. Dude, I love you. We're going to do this. I like it. Yeah. <laughs>